curious if MemberPress is the best memberships plugin for WordPress. Here's my honest opinion where I break down the good, the bad, and who it's really for. So straight away from the homepage, we can see that we can add a paywall, content dripping, customizable checkout, subscriptions, and so on. And we'll get into those features in just a second, right? And I will jump over to our test site and we'll create a simple membership website to protect our courses. Once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll see this welcome page here. You can go ahead and click it and this will take you through the onboarding process, which is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. All right, so you can go through this step yourself. I'm just gonna quickly show you how we'll actually go ahead and create our membership and highlight a few of the key features. All right, so one of the first thing you wanna do is actually go ahead and set up your payment method. So you'll navigate over to settings and then payments, and then we can click add a payment method. Here they're recommending that Stripe, I'm gonna select offline payment, just for this example. We can add a name, and again, this is what our customers will see on the front end, right? So we'll say, all right, and then we can update. All right, now we've got our payment options selected. We can go ahead and create our first membership. So we'll navigate over to memberships, and I'm gonna click add new. I'm just gonna name this one Pro. I'm gonna add our price in here. So we'll say this is 197 for this particular membership. And we can choose whether it's a recurring or a one-time payment. I'm gonna select one-time payment. And here we can specify the term of their membership. So maybe it's a lifetime membership or we can set an expiry date. Again, we'll leave it to lifetime. We can add a description here, and this is what they'll see on a checkout page. So you can add some description here just to further describe what's included. Right? And then we can just hit publish. And now we need to go ahead and protect the content or the areas within our membership. So to do so, we'll navigate over to rules and we can click add new, All right? So under content and access, we get to choose which content we wanna protect. So in my case, I wanna protect our course page and to do so, I think I will select child pages of, and then I can just type in courses. All right, so we'll say courses overview and we can go ahead and stack various different conditions for this particular membership. Here, we'll say the membership is and it's our pro membership, right? So only our pro membership will be able to access any content that we've got under our courses overview. So we can drip specific content over a specified period here. And we can disable this as well. And we can set this particular rule as well to expire within a given time period. And of course we can choose who it will apply to. All right, and then we can just hit save rule and you can create as many rules as you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out, see what we've got so far. All right, so when we try to access our courses page, here it's prompting us to log in to be able to access that page. So if we do log in and we're not assigned to that pro membership, then we'll have the option to upgrade. We can choose how we handle unauthorized access by navigating to settings and then pages here you can see that it's showing the login form when they're not authorized, right? What we could do is we could actually redirect them to a specific URL where they can actually join our membership and then they'll be able to get access to that particular program. So it's totally up to you how you go ahead and handle this. Right, but essentially this is how we create a basic um, membership structure using MemberPress. And of course, on the front end, you'd obviously go ahead and link over to your pricing page and all that other good stuff, right? So in terms of features, what do I think of MemberPress? Right, so they do have quite a vast array of features, even in this core setup, right? So if you want more from MemberPress, you can navigate over to add-ons here and they've got an array of add-ons, right? So anything from active campaign, BodyPress integration, which is huge, um, corporate accounts. So we've got all these different options for you to go ahead and choose from. In terms of settings, it's quite feature rich. So we can drip content. Right, we can restrict um, certain child pages, which is good. We can create various different membership tiers. We can offer coupons and so on. So those are all pros that I've mentioned, right? All those features. What's maybe not so positive is when we go to settings under payments, as you can see, when we click add a payment method, it's quite limited, right? So if you are fortunate enough to be in the US or any other country where Stripe is accepted, 
then for the most part you're good you can use stripe authorize.net um, or paypal but in certain countries where you want to use other payment other local payment providers then this entire setup maybe this setup isn't the best for you right, so you probably want to check out something like aov um, memberships where there's over 30 different payment providers to choose from it, another thing it's one of the most um, expensive options yes you do get this initial savings but when you look at the renewal fee right it does add up quite a bit and if you want that e-commerce functionality as well here they're recommending the pro plan which essentially is eight hundred dollars right seven hundred and ninety nine dollars right so it's quite pricey when you compare it to something like the aov up memberships or memberships paid pro in terms of support right they've got their help center and a ticketing system so you can go ahead and contact support should you go ahead and buy consider or shortlist member press i'd say shortlist member press i'd say check out a few of the others first and then decide whether this is the right fit for you if you're a coach creator then i'd say go right ahead and get member press they do have their member coach plugin which has unique features such as scheduling um, one on one appointments with with your coaching clients for most users i'd say shortlisted check out a few of the others first and then go ahead and make your decisions okay so in terms of alternatives for member press i've created this nifty guide here where i've outlined a few other alternatives to consider and i've created individual reviews on each of them as well so you can go ahead and check those out i'll leave a link in the description below but essentially key alternatives to member press would be our very own aov up memberships plugin you can check out the gif WooCommerce memberships plugin and also i would say check out member press pro and that plugin also as well